All right, getting ready to do a brake lever extension for the rear brake on a 2020 Street Glide. Now I'm six foot two, uh, I wear a size 13 shoe. That doesn't give me a whole lot of room for comfort where the standard brake is. If this is your situation, I'm gonna show you an extended brake lever that's a hundred and about ten dollars and could take care of part of that problem. So here is the extended brake. Now when you order this, you can order this in a without lowers or a with lowers. You see the picture here, it's got two different ones. So you will have one of these two. The shorter one is going to be if you have a bike with lowers, the longer one if you have a bike without lowers. Here's the actual part. Looks like good quality. Zerk fitting on the bottom to grease, which the factory one does not have. Nice finish, solid made. Here's the part number if you want to order it off Revzilla. It was $111 plus the shipping. Okay, so here's the difference in the length. Of course, it's going to be up higher, but it's difference in the length. Not a very good shot there, but we'll get a better shot as we go. And yes, those are rags and towels on the motorcycle because we are in the middle of the bar installation. Okay, so first step, I use a 5 8 pull this nut off that holds the factory lever on. Take note that after I pulled the washer off, there's also an O-ring that is behind the washer that fits in there. So the nut comes off, then the washer, then the O-ring. Next step, pull out these two quarter inch drive bolts that are holding the brake reservoir on. Okay, so now that we've got these bolts out, we have a little bit of room to move this reservoir. With the reservoir moved, we can kind of get down here. Well, I'll go through the front so I won't be able to record it and access this carter pin that's right here. I need to pull this carter pin out so that way the pin will come out the other side and the brake lever will come off. Right now, that pin is going through right there. Just so you can see, I've got it pretty much straight. This is such a small carter pin, you can almost do it with your fingers. And I'm gonna push it out and then pull the pin out. Okay, so we gotta take the floorboard off. We take these two bottom bolts to get the floorboard off. So the brake lever has a spot to go when it slides off. Take a note that when the floorboard came off, these were 5 16 drives, and so, so a 5 16 Allen, and you have a little spacer on the right and a separate spacer on the left. All right, now it's free to slide off the bike. Okay, so we're gonna take the nut off the back that holds our pedal onto the lever. We're gonna put it on the new one. So you can see the difference in the overall length. We've got about another inch. Okay, new pad is on the longer lever. Time to mount it back to the bike. So about to put it on the bike, used uh, just used finger and added a little bit of grease to the beginning of the sleeve on both sides and a little bit onto the bike. We'll add grease in the Zerk fitting after it's over. And that grease in the Zerk fitting, you can see it'll fill that ever slight void that's in the center. Okay, a few important things to note at this point. One, the pedal was not gonna go on, the lever was not gonna go on without taking the bars off. So that's simple. You've got one bolt on the bottom of each side and you've got a bolt on the top of the bar that goes right into the frame. All really easy, three three bolts, hold it on. You have to take it off, make sure when you take it off, you have a rag or something there, you set it down easy, you don't scratch your paint up or let it you know just drop on you. Besides that, that would allow the pedal to have room to go in, but the cylinder was still uh, not forward enough, even with these two bolts, even those two bolts right here were out, that was not enough to bring it forward enough to put your pin through the back. And that is, here's the factory one. That's where the pin goes through. It, you couldn't get the pin through there. Had to use a 5 16 Take this little bracket off here. Give yourself just about a half inch of leeway so the cylinder could come 
forward a little bit, and then you're able to line it up. It's a little bit tricky. You can do it. It's a little bit tricky to get it back there, get it through, put your washer on the back, and your carter pin back in. Now, I use the carter pin that came with the kit, and then once I got it in, I thought, man, that's really flimsy. So I took it out, and the factory one I had sitting here, it was actually in great shape, and it's uh, about, I wouldn't say it's twice as thick, but it's a little thicker. So I used it, uh, and it's all mounted back up. Okay, so the bars are back on the bike, and I wanna add a couple things here. Uh, first of all, you know these, just the uh, bolt on the bottom, bolt on the top, that was super simple. The lever itself, when you put the lever back on, I didn't say this earlier, but whenever you put this lever on, this is a this is slightly different style. If you look at the factory, it had a little recessed area that that O-ring would fit down into. This one does not have that, which means if you put this back together and you use the O-ring and then the washer and then the nut like factory, you're gonna have a, have a problem. It's not meant for the O-ring, it's just meant for the washer and the nut. And you can torque this down to 15 foot pounds. Now, if you were to torque this to 15 foot pounds and you left the O-ring behind the washer and the O-ring's not meant to fit back there, whenever you apply your brake, it would create tension and not rebound properly. Now, you let off and it rebounds properly. If you were to have that rubber O-ring behind that washer, like it did from the factory, when you press the brake, the tension would make it rebound very slowly and it might not even come all the way up and you might end up riding your brake. So don't put the rubber O-ring back. Okay, so there it is, finished product, looking straight down. Now that is the factory floorboard. Those floorboards do not have any kind of extenders uh, out or forward. That's a factory floorboard in the factory position with the new brake lever. So kind of give you an idea, you compare it to yours to see where the pedal now lies. It's about an inch forward from where it used to be. And there's a look from the side where it now lies. All right, finished product. Everything's done, torqued down. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out some of the other videos. And uh, be safe out there riding. Ride like you're invisible because people, people don't see you. All right, thanks again.